It has been approved. Next item is the unfinished business. Uh, first item is the budget work session, Mrs. Hall. Okay, I thought I had Scott to come to the podium also. We've been working on this together along with Donna Henderson. Um, I want you to keep in mind that there are no changes in the overall total budget amount. Um, this, what, what you see tonight, still reflect, reflects what we showed you last month. Um, we're still awaiting revised dollar amounts from, our gov from Governor Yunkin's um, budget. However, tonight we do have to approve a budget. And so what we're showing you are some of the line items there. We made a few changes in the line items and object codes, um, some under the direction of the Virginia Department of Education. They've changed certain things. Certain things would normally be in the instructional line. They are now, they have to be pulled out into the technology line. Um, for example, some programs, some digital programs, things of that nature, that had to be changed. Uh, and also, we, the instructional line is normally the line item that's padded quite a bit and we had to pull some things out of that to um, take care of the um, extra cost in insurance. And um, we've also um, pulled out the um, resource officer from um, one line item, had to put that under maintenance. And these are some things that the Virginia Department of Education has requested us to do. Now, um, Mr. Warner will give you some details as far as the dollar amounts and um, the items that changed. Is it working? I think it is. Um, like Ms. Hall said, the bottom line of $76,946,463 for both the revenue and expenditures remain the same. But uh, as what normally happens in any budget, there's some shuffling of, of money around. Uh, this uh, all alluded to because of the change in requests of some of the line items from the State Department of Education. And then some decisions that the school board made last week, or I think two weeks ago, mm -hmm. with regard to covering the $179,000 uh, in addition for uh, health insurance. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so when you look at it, basically what has happened is we shifted about $599,000 instruction uh, and, and it, to assist in the area of administration, attendance, and health to the tune of $24,000. Uh, to pupil transportation specifically because of the gas prices that have been rising significantly. Um, we did a calculation based on what we think will be the escalation cost of the percentages for next year. And, and, and just so you know, we don't pay the price of Thanks, Dr. Warner. Okay. Is there anything else? No. Again, we do need a motion tonight. Okay. All right. I need a motion for this particular budget work session. 
I need a budget. I mean, I need a motion and a second. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, can we ask questions after or before? I have a couple questions. Okay. No, um, I'm doing the motion. Have, have a motion and then a second, then I'll ask for mm -hmm. questions. Need a motion first and then a second and then a discussion. Are we, are we voting to approve that it, that it is at it, it, as it is right now? As it is right now with As the current right figures that we have, we, know, we realize that when, the, when Governor Youngkin's budget is approved, yeah. that we may have to come back to you again and uh, amend this budget. Okay. But my understanding is that we do have to vote on the budget tonight. Am I right, uh, Ms. Mahan? Yes. I guess I had some questions before we approve it. Okay. Okay, I still need a motion and a second. I move the, the budget, proposed budget, be approved. So. Okay. Now, is there any discussion? Um, I had a couple of notes from previous meetings about um, some things that might go into the budget, and we weren't quite sure. Um, so, one of my questions from the um, we haven't really talked about the the capital improvement plan much. But um, for the 22-23 school year, there was 1.27 million allotted for um, the capital improvement of the schools. Is that accounted for in this budget? And if so, where is that 1.27 million found at? Okay, I, I believe that Mr. Dr. Warner helped um, Mr. Brunsfield with that particular plan. So. The capital Excuse me, can you speak up? Can you speak up? I'm sorry. The expenditures that you saw in the capital improvement plan for $1,720,000, um, uh, those monies are not funded right now because the school board made the decision to take the $3.8 million of capital uh, carryover money and use for compensation. So right now, your capital improvement plan has planned expenditures, but no funds to pay for. You can, what you see right there in the facilities, mm -hmm. Two million six hundred and four thousand dollars. That's those are monies that have been appropriated by Governor Northam's budget. They still reside in that budget, and you still can receive those monies if that amount is unscathed from the General Assembly special session. And you, as a school board and the director of finance, or your or your superintendent. You can, uh, you can apply $1.27 million to the capital improvement plan, or you can apply all $2.6 million to the capital improvement plan, and at that point in time, the decision can be made to move some of the future projects in the next fiscal year, keep bringing them down now when costs are less, and you can expend the entire $2.6 million, or we can stick to the capital improvement plan and keep the remainder of that money if you so desire to give it to, to facilities in its entirety um, and it can be carried over. So. Thank you. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you. I have a question. Yes, sir. You said <clears throat> 1.2 is what you said. I, I think, and I'm, I'm doing this by memory, and I'm getting old, so I can't remember as well as I used to, but I think the capital improvement plan had an expenditure, and Melissa, you have to help me, is it 
thousand five hundred dollars. You're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ding ding. That's surprising. <laughs> um, that's what the capital improvement had earmarked the amount of projects for this next fiscal year. You can use. We're hoping we got our fingers crossed. I think it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. This amount of money right here is going to come down in Governor Northam's budget, mm -hmm. and it can be used for any construction, maintenance, rehabilitation, uh, um, or, or renovation mm -hmm. of the school division's choice. It won't. And this is a one-year only deal, so we can we can now fund. That one million two hundred seventy-two thousand five hundred dollars worth of expenditures next year, and and you, we could decide to take the residual, the rest of it, and put it elsewhere, maybe to the high school project, maybe to the elementary school project, or you can give all that to facilities, and we can do all the work for this coming year and bring some of the other projects down from the next fiscal year because it would probably cost less to do it early. Or they can carry over that money. So it's this is Christmas. But what my what my question is entirely: Why did we end up not using this money? Because it, it got kicked away somewhere? Or, or yes, what? yes, sir. You you all decided decide to do what? To take the normally that money for the capital improvement plan is is paid for with carryover funds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when we had the discussion with the board of supervisors about the compensation plan for the next two years, the three point is it three point eight or three point two million dollars? It's three point two. Three point two million dollars was basically borrowed from the carryover, which left capital improvement unfunded. So this is, is a bonus that can mm -hmm. take the place of the three point eight million dollars that we're using for carryover funds for for compensation. And we made the decision to take that one point two to use it for compensation. Three point two. Three point two to use for compensation. Yeah, you guys did that. Okay. So instead of doing that, then, so what we were basically doing at that time was kicking capital to the curb. Yes, sir. We were basically kicking the can down the road, so to speak, as far as doing uh, capital improvement plans. I suspect um, at, at that point in time when that decision was made, I, I, uh, Mr. Ayler had explained mm -hmm. to me at that point in time that this was already in Governor Northam's budget, yeah. so that was probably his intent to utilize those funds. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if we hadn't gotten that extra money from, from the government, but that would have been capital improvement for next year would be kicked out. Yes, sir. You you Which would have thrown us farther down the road. That's correct. With mm -hmm. no opportunity to get any additional money to go toward that the only way more you, supervisor. The only other way you can get money is let's say it's a regular year. Let's let's say it's a regular year and we have Savings from fuel, mm -hmm. you can take that money and, mm -hmm. and move it over to carry over so as well. What we're doing is playing a shuffle game again. This, this, this lucked out that we had this money coming. That's, in. that's a really good word, the, the luck. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and again, I wasn't part of the, the, uh, the process at that time, but I, I'm, I'm fairly certain that Dr. Lindenberg and Mr. Ayler were aware of this money yeah. being available, so maybe that's, they probably felt comfortable in moving the 3.2 over so that you could utilize for compensation to maintain the retainer staff. Mm -hmm. So what you're telling me, unless we got that amount of money that the governor put in his budget next year, we're taking a chance that it may not be in there and then we may not have 1.275. Yeah, according, according to the document that I saw, this is a one-time deal only. There will be yeah. no money right. that we're okay. aware of. Yeah. Because Governor Northam, this is the last year of his biennium budget, Governor Youngkin will make the decisions mm -hmm. of whether to use rainy day funds or surplus monies towards uh, school infrastructure or not. And I don't think he's 
discussed that or, or brought that mm -hmm. up yet. It's a mm -hmm. possibility, but as of right now, that's all you got. That's potentially all we're going to get. Yes, sir. So, I mean, we haven't gotten anything from Yonkers yet. No, sir. He, he, I don't mm -hmm. think his budget comes into play until later on. Until October of well, this coming year. October of next year? Yeah, of this, this coming year. Oh, uh, this year. Yeah, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see the first portion of his biennium budget for because they do a two year budget cycle. Mm -hmm. I may be asking a dumb question. Then why are we saying we need to get this passed now, but we may have to go back and look at it when we get the governor's figure that you're saying that we won't be getting it and take get put into effect until October. So even though we've been getting it, let's say two months from now, whenever he comes up with it, we gotta wait till October till we can use it. That's the new budget. You're you're acting on Northam's budget right now. Right. And which is what year is that? This year. This, this, this fiscal, fiscal year. 20, 20, 21, 22, uh -huh. or 22, 23? 22, 23. Mm -hmm. Mr. Youngkin's budget will not go into effect until 2024. 23, 24? Yeah. Okay. And uh, to answer your other question, <clears throat> I think this has normally happened quite a few times, and Ms. Mahan could probably discuss it better than I can. There's a deadline where we have to approve a budget, but probably, I don't know, eight times out of 10, there's always an amendment mm -hmm. because the General Assembly may come up with additional money, and so you guys can do an amendment. Well, usually, yeah. it, usually it, it, it's helpful to the school division. It's usually where they find money. They don't ever take it away from my and that can be used for capital structure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just to go over a couple of those numbers, um, the health insurance, you said that it does include this, the whole 679000 Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That's what Mrs. Henderson she did. explained. Okay. And the salaries, that does not include the increase from the January and February, it includes the five and the three percent plus the step for next year, but it does not cover the um, salary increases that we had from January and February. Well, Bob Bob had mentioned that that he had included the full year of the um, of the salaries from the salary scale adjustment. He said he included that for a full year. He also included the step moves, and he included the 5% uh, increase for SOQ positions and 3% for non-SOQ positions. So that's included in this budget, and we do not need to use the carryover funds? He, he said he had put it all in there. And we've checked. Uh, I, I believe the carryover funds are, are part of this. And I think that's to the, this is just back of the napkin bigger and unique eavesdropping in the finance meetings. I think that's about to the tune of about two point two million dollars to cover the compensation package that, that the school board and the board of supervisors had conversations about in January. So our budget last year was sixty eight point four million and the new budget that we received including the new state monies plus the local um, LRE, gives us a total of an additional 8.5 million. And 2.6 of that is the um, facilities, the capital that you put in there. But if we have an additional 8.5 million over what we had last year, I don't see how we could possibly not be able to fund all of the salaries including the updates that were done in January and February plus the five and the three and the step with that money for next year without dipping into the okay. capital carryover. I, I mean, the, the presentation that we went through last time in the last meeting had 180,000 for the two school resource officers and I think you said that's 218 now. Um, and there were no, no, um, efficiencies or budget cuts based off from the expected retirees that we were planning to have. It just seems like, and I know we don't have a director of finance, but mm -hmm. um, 
it seems like this is missing a whole lot of details. And I did receive some of the salary numbers, and I could not get that to tie with what we increased in January and February. But with 8.5 million, I don't see how we could possibly not keep this within the budget and not have to use that carryover fund. The uh, 8.5, you're asking for the revenue or the expenditure? Well, the way it's set up right now, that's additional revenue that's coming to us, and it's right. been allocated out for compensation, the facilities, um, the mean, health insurance, and the school resource officers. When I look at page 17, um, it shows that 3.3, um, 300, uh, 3,390,000 of that funds the teachers scale at 5% plus step. And then 1.8 of that funds the administration and support at 3%. Mm -hmm. And the health insurance at, at $500,000. And then when you add the 2.6 million and 180,000 for two resource officers, that equals 8.527. Um, yeah, so the there's, there's a lot of different layers to this, and, and it's, it's, it's hard to try to bring all those layers up here without notes. But does that make sense on, on, page, <coughs> you know, on page 17? But, uh, what he's earmarked for the expenditures for that eight point five million dollars? Yeah, it just I can't get the numbers to tie because the January and February increases for both teachers and the other was about three million total, two point however many much that we allocated for. So then additional 5% and additional 3%, and I know that there's hard costs in there as well, or fixed costs that have to be included. I don't, I just, based on this budget, I don't see why we would need to use the capital carryover fund at all. That's, that's my point. With initial 8.5 million mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in a year, mm -hmm. and nothing written down for budget costs, cuts, or where we're making improvements, it just seems like there's a lot of pieces missing. And I know we don't have a director of finance. But no, I, I think he would be happy to, if I forwarded that specific question to him, I think I could get an answer from, okay. from this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure, ab absolutely. He has been responding to us. Okay. I, and I wish I was better at explaining yeah. the layers to you. I, I'm, uh, all, I can, all I can do is show you what I've been shown. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. May I ask a question following up with Lacey's? Um, <clears throat> Can you go back and repeat? There was a, you said it was 3.39 million for teacher and the, the step increases. And the, what was the next number after that for admin? Do you have page 17? Oh, on your we don't have that packet unless you have it from the last I'm meeting. So yeah, they, we did the one packet, the packet from last um, month. Oh. It's uh, $1,853,201, which supports a 3% increase for administrative pay and all supports there. Okay, so we have- M Mrs. Hicks, Mrs. Hicks, can you speak into your microphone, okay, please? Yeah. So we have three point, let's just say four million it's, for the teachers. Three, 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 nine, mm -hmm. zero, okay. Zero, two, six. Okay, and 1.8. Two, zero, one. Yeah. Uh, it's one, a total one, of 5.5. 5. 5. 5. So that is 5.2 million basically for um, staff, teachers, admin. Mm -hmm. um, and out of that, about 5.2 million is 3.2 from the carryover and 2 million is an additional from the, uh, the state? Or how do we get to that 5.2 for the increase in all those salaries? <clears throat> I don't, I can't answer the question as to where the 3.2 is inserted. Uh, right. It's supposed to be inserted in there, and, and that's 
And Mrs. Henderson said most time it's the, the extra amount, the money, the extra, is normally in the instructional line item. And she said she'd be glad certainly to, if we called her, to respond to some questions that you may have. That is a good question. It is. You're, you're looking mm -hmm. to the, where is the three? Point. Like, mm -hmm. where is the three point two? Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think it's hidden. I think it's in, mm -hmm. in the layer where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But I'm not adroit enough to be able to explain mm -hmm. to you where it is. Um, the three point two million dollars. Uh, do you remember the conversation that we had with Scott Simpson, the uh, county administrator, was that, that $3.2 million would suffice for almost two years to be able to pay the difference. But again, I understand the question, so that sounds like something that we need to ask Mr. Ayla. Uh, Ayla, or maybe Ms. Henderson knows as well, but that's, that's a good question. And just to follow up, so um, that it's roughly about 5.2 million that we're seeing an increase in salaries. Uh -huh. Is that 5.2 million going to have to be sustained in the future and every budget going mm -hmm. forward? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. okay. And and add to that 5.2 million, $679,000 right. because of the increased cost for um, your uh, health insurance and, and the board made the decision that they didn't want the, the, that part of that raise to come mm -hmm. out of the pockets of the staff to pay for benefits. So roughly six million. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's five point seven four three two two seven. I apologize. I wish. <laughs> I wish I knew more about this. I'm, I'm pinch hitting as best I can. <laughs> so. um, may I ask another question? Do we have any um, anything in the budget for any other reading or math specialists at our schools? Not to my know? knowledge. Not to my knowledge. I know that some of those positions are covered through ESSA funds. Am I? Currently, for the next what two, yeah. maybe two or three, two years. We, we have ESSER funds mm -hmm. that are good for this year and, and the following two years, right. and then they're done. Right. And um, there's a plethora of different instructional positions mm -hmm. that have been funded through ESSER. It just depends on the schools. Mm -hmm. Each of the schools were given an op they were given an amount of money that they could use the parameters. Um, as far as new positions, no, nothing mm -hmm. that has been added to the budget mm -hmm. in, in the current budget. Have we checked with any of the school principals to see if their staffing needs are adequate and to see if um, they are in need of any other specialist for next school year? Yeah, we will be, I know he's giving it to Mr. Davis, but that's one thing I know that Mr. Davis and uh, Mrs. Long will be looking at the, um, uh, looking at the, especially looking at the uh, projected um, enrollment and from the projected enrollment is determined the number of teachers that they're going to need. So um, they haven't started that yet. I think they're just doing kindergarten. Have you done kindergarten registration already? Last week, okay, we just finished kindergarten registration. So right behind that, we'll come along with the projected enrollment. And that's how that's determined. As um, Dr. Warner has said, you know, they do have their ESSA funds. And uh, Mr. Ayla said that this budget was built the same as, as our current year's budget, and um, the focus was um, salaries, compensation, that was the focus. So that's what this budget is pretty much built on, knowing that you know, our principals do have some of the ESSER funds for some other needs. Is there any remaining ESSER funds left for additional they, they've all COVID been, stuff? They've all been earmarked. Uh, we had ESSER one, two, and three, and mm -hmm. each of those uh, were applied through the federal government and, and each of the expenditures had to be categorized mm -hmm. and, and fit the criteria and parameter. Um, <clears throat> yes, there are a few dollars that are left, but those dollars are held in reserve to cover FICA and, and, and some other costs that, um, like anyone who gets a paycheck, mm -hmm. there's 
they're not taxed to, to fight the costs and operating costs, but no, there's no discernible uh, monies that we can um, talk about with regard to ESSER. Uh, there, there is one exception, um, but until we have a finance director that comes in, I, 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 I'm reticent to say, mm -hmm. because that would be up to the finance director, um, could be used for salaries. So I, I don't I don't feel it would be appropriate for me to bring that up without having a finance director review that. Okay, thank you. I, I can, can talk with you about that maybe afterwards. Okay, thanks. That way you, you know what I'm talking about. Do you have any other questions? Excuse me. No, yes, ma'am. Yes. Based on what I'm hearing, correct me if I'm wrong, Doc, that um, we may or may not have money to take care of the compensation package for that we come up with for this year, next year? No, we will. Mm -hmm. According to the, the formula that I understand, I know next year for certain it'll be tight the okay. year following. It's that, gonna be a, a but after that point. So it's gonna take care of what we what we did in January, mm -hmm. what we're gonna do in June. Mm -hmm. Then it's gonna take care of what we're gonna do in Jan in uh, January again, or this, is it January January? Right? I, I think that, from what I remember here, is that to address the compensation package that we did in mid-year until this year, funds were found from this year's budget. Right. Mm -hmm. And then next year, we have annual <coughs> funds right. using the carryover money to be able to take the addition or the overage for the compensation package. Right. The following year. Right is questionable. Okay. I think we have some, but not all. And, uh, and, and what it amounts to, if I'm not mistaken, you correct me if I'm wrong, please, is that since we supposedly don't have that for year after next, that we're going to have to mm -hmm. close elementary schools in order to get that money. We, we're going to have to find some places to find two point two million dollars mm -hmm. a year. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. And, and I, I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna tell you what you should or shouldn't do. Oh, well, well I'm just yeah. Well we we heard that in December yes, sir. or January when we had that joint meeting. Yes sir. That when we decided to do this conversation that we came up with all those figures and it was said then that you ain't gonna get no more money from the board of supervisors, so you gotta come up with the money yourself. And that to me was telling us mm -hmm. we're gonna have to do some of the elementary school because they're not gonna give us any money to take care of that a year and a half from now. I think, yeah, you know, I think the exact way that they phrased it was is that the school division knows what efficiencies that that, that it can um, in, uh, that they can enact to be able to address. They didn't actually use the word elementary schools. They just said we know what efficiencies we work with need to enact. <coughs> I want to know what the other, other efficiencies are that, that we can enact. Because the only thing I know that we can enact is that close the elementary school. And somebody can come and show me $3 million to take care of it. Right? That's one of the ways to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But somebody got to show us a way that we can come up with another $3 million. And that's how the illustrious government is going to give us $3 million. And, and, and we're looking at. I hate to belabor what I'm doing up here, but you're, you're looking at about $2.2 .2 million over the next four or five years. We've been, because of inflation and trying to keep up with the escalation of, of uh, salaries, it mm -hmm. could be 2.5, you know, six years from now, and then get it to 2.7. Mm -hmm. It just depends on the conditions. Okay. Mrs. Hicks, do you, do you have a question? Oh, yeah, I was just going to um, say that. You know, with the elementary schools, I've been told that the, that money would be saved through personnel cost. Mm -hmm. And so that's a large discussion if, you know, if we want to let um, teachers go to, that's, that's a morale question too. So I think that's a, a pretty big discussion to be had. And, and, I, and I think attrition will certainly I, balance yeah. that somewhat also. And that's what we're we looking at this year last also. I heard we weren't going to drop anybody. Mm -mm. Yeah, the, initially, mm -hmm. that we going to do that. Like, mm -hmm. like, like, like just, attrition. The mathematical formula that we put together is by, if, if you compress and 
combine and, and, and do right. better, mm -hmm. that you don't need as many teachers right. because, and, and it looks like, if I remember correctly, it, it was a loss of uh, a couple of administrators mm -hmm. yeah. and approximately 26 teachers. Mm -hmm. And when we look at a, at a normal year, we have anywhere between 26 to 45 teachers mm -hmm. that we lose each year. Um, Not all the elementary, but we lose no, that. Across the entire right. division. Sometimes mm -hmm. when things like that occur, mm -hmm. People, yeah. for instance, I, I, got a, I had a K through 12 teaching instructor. So I could possibly be the low man on the totem pole or desire to go back mm -hmm. to work in the school. But it's not asking the stone that we're going to zap all those people right then. We're going to mm -hmm. look at other factors involved in that, right? Yeah. I mean, you, right. you try to do it as humanely as possible. Mm -hmm. that, was, mm -hmm. that, was, right. that was also indicated two years ago. Yes, sir. And that came up, and that's what we were going to do. Mm -hmm. Because the thought came out. Of, of the question came out, were well, these people going to lose their job? And mm -hmm. we said, nope. Yeah, the jobs may not be replaced, but. Right, they may not be replaced, there. but they're not going to lose the job. Absolutely. Yes, that's sir. right. There is mm -hmm. a difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might be in a different position. Right. right. Okay, are, are there any other questions in connection with the budget? Okay. All right, then we. Need a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 And all those opposed? No. Motion is carried. Mrs. Shotwell said no. No, no. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> okay. Me? Um, I just wanted to open up let everyone know that uh, we are still in the process of interviewing for uh, our next superintendent um, and we are going to extend our interviewing process from April the 5th through the 19th in case we need that time and I just want to let everyone know that item number four construction management agency service contract dr. Warner Finally. <laughs> so I'll talk loudly. Um, this can either be an information item or you can vote again. You've already voted, depending upon legal review, to accept the construction management agency services uh, of the uh, vendor that you selected. We have before you uh, the contract, and I'd like to direct you to page. So this requires signature, correct? Mm -hmm. It does. It do, requires signature. So do we need a motion to uh, do that can. signature? So what you, still have, you still have the option that after the, after the legal review, you still have the option of if you don't think the contract will be correct and you don't like the price, you have the option to not move forward. I would like to make a motion that we accept the contract and 
uh, sign the contract. Is there a second? Yes, sir. Thank you. Is there any discussion? All those in favor I, say. I, I, of course, I have a question. <coughs> Excuse me. Nobody's going to go back and tell us. We're not going to have to pay the attorney that, that money we paid that we got that lower price on. We don't have to pay them a different. Though. I don't understand the question. It started at one amount of money. We got it for this amount of money. Oh, no. We said negotiation was done by the attorney. Well, we have to pay and I'm legal. being funny by asking that, but I'm just trying to make no, sure we, that's we, 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 we pay legal. We pay legal. Uh, okay. <laughs> but we don't, nobody, nobody gets the difference. Uh, uh -huh. Well, we, we get the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We get. And how much would that difference be now? From oh, what I first quoted you? Yeah. Uh, it was a range of, of 2.1 and 2.5. You're within the range, but you didn't hit the top, which is good. So, so that's two, about a hundred some thousand we can use in our budget next year. Okay. Did you all vote? No. Oh, I stopped right. it. I'm sorry. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The motion carries. The next thing that you need to consider, I'm just throwing your plate on to make a decision tonight. Skanska is now the owner's representative and negotiates on your behalf and, and they work through me and around you. Um, their process now is to negotiate and go through with the architect to make certain that, that contract and those proposed fees are exactly which uh, would be in the best interest of Halifax County Public Schools and taxpayers. Um, once that contract is negotiated, you can do one of two things. I'd, re I'd recommend the second thing that I'm going to tell you. The first is that you can just go ahead and let your owner's representative do the negotiation and give them free reign. Or door number two, you can uh, review the final contract and approve it. Just as you did. You, and you're recommending that we do the second? Number one. Or number one? I, Okay. Yeah, okay. We would go ahead and get, get started on what we need to do. So this is basically going to do the same thing we just did with this. We're going to sign it, and we can come back and change it. But we you can't. Don't change anything. The only thing I have left now is the approval of the architect's contract. Okay. And, and scan stage is your boots on the ground, and they're the ones that are going to be making the decisions about whether the contract acceptable or not. They're going to be bargaining for okay. you're watched on as well. This okay. for the This for the architect? Yes, they're going to be they're going to be negotiating the architect. Oh, the next one you're looking at that's that's for the that's property. That's, that's the landing. All right, do you go ahead. I was just going to say I would recommend that we wait and review the contract and then approve once we've seen it. Okay. Do we need to have us? Are you making that as a motion? Or are you just sure. recommending? No, I got a motion on the floor. I, I don't think we need a motion for it unless because okay. we're not voting on it now. Okay. All right. So the next one is the amendment to the contract to purchase the Powell property. <sighs> because it's a legal document and because <laughs> We're getting eight tenths of an acre less, and you're paying thirty thousand dollars less. Then um, we have to sign seal and deliver this for the closing. The good news is, since paying three hundred eighty thousand dollars, you're paying three hundred fifty thousand dollars, and they had to, they also brought back on the table the four thousand dollars of earnest money that we lost when we first walked away from the offer.
Can you say that one more time, Dr. Warner? How many acres? Now, how many acres? Thank you. You got your <laughs> You've already voted to purchase the land. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Warner. All right. Did you thank them for us? Did you thank them for the board? Oh, yes. I actually. <laughs> no, I'm saying thank them for giving us that $4,000 back. Yes, they did. Yeah. I jumped up and down. I'm not being funny. That's, yeah. They and need they, to be thankful for that. They know that you're very appreciative. Yeah, no question. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. All right, next item is uh, going into closed session. I'm going to ask Mrs. Shotwell if you would please read the closed session. Do you have me? Okay. Thank you. Pursuant to Section 2.2-3711 of the Code of Virginia, I move that the board convene a closed meeting for the purpose of considering the following specific matters. Personnel, the appointment of specific division employees is authorized by Section 2.2-3711.1 of the Code of Virginia. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Who seconded? Oh, who seconded that? I'm sorry. Need a second. second. Thank you, Mr. Camp. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed, we're now in closed session.